What's up, everyone? I'm Pastor Ryan. This is Pastor Guitar, and we're excited to be able to sit and just kind of discuss how God's House began and how we've gotten to where we are today. And that's been a really cool journey. Uh, we've learned a lot. We've grown a lot. We've been in the Marion, Indiana area uh, for 13 years, mm -hmm. and uh, we actually started as a church in 2000. Um, when we began, we started as just a few people in our house, little rental house. We had uh, an air conditioner that only worked half the time, and it was <laughs> happened to be when we wanted to start the church and went through that summer. Right. And, uh, and man, it was hot. And yeah. We was... just started, you know, we kind of just started inviting friends and people that we worked with, um, and people actually came. They came to our house, and Ryan would just get up and chat a little bit about um, God's Word and just kind of share from his heart. We would have snacks and um, mingle afterwards. And it was just a really cool culture that we had began in our home. Um, we were there for what, about a year? Or yeah, a little less than a year. Sure. Um, and then we moved into a storefront uh, building. Um, before we moved into the storefront though, Ryan and I sat down and we were like, you know, we really feel like there's some momentum happening. We really felt like God wanted us to kind of make it a church, like we're going to actually be a legit church. And so we prayed and really felt like before we moved that we needed to um, have $20,000 um, in the bank and 20 people committed to tithe. And within one week, we had um, several people um, just completely by faith give to us. Um, and we had $20,000 and we had 20 people um, in our faith community, our group, our Bible study that was coming, step forward and say, I want to get behind you guys. I believe in the vision um, and commit to that. So we grew in our house from about four people um, to how many do we have? Well, I, I know the first week we had four people, then the second week we had 12, <laughs> and then we went down really far. And, yeah. you know, there were some discouraging moments in there. But I remember the one night on a Friday night during Bible study when we had 40 adults and 40 kids yeah, it was crazy. Show, show up. And it rained that night, so we were all trying to fit into this little rental house. And, again, the air conditioner wasn't working, and it was just a... It was it was fun. Those yeah. kind of experiences, you kind of it's not fun at the moment, but then you look right. back and you realize God was really up to something Absolutely. really awesome. And like you said, from there we moved into the storefront and just became a church. And I think through that process, honestly, I, I feel like we we learned a lot about what what it is to be a church. Right. And and just you know, I had never done it before, and you had never been a, a pastor before, and so we were just kind of learning how to be senior pastors. Right. And, and uh, so that was a really cool thing to be able to, to, to learn and just grow in that, in that time. And so from the storefront, we were there in that storefront for just under a year as well. And then the building we're in presently, the First Presbyterian Church at that time, uh, came up for sale. And yeah. this huge castle, Gothic-style building with 30-foot stained glass windows and and uh, just this massive facility at the time was massive. Yeah. Uh, when we walked into it, yeah, um, came up for sale, and we were just, you know, it was just a really cool moment to be able to walk into another step in the journey and the process of God's house. Yeah, and, I remember walking into that building, and it just it, it seemed so huge, and and it seemed like it would take us forever to fill it up. And it's been so interesting to see how God has used us along with several other people to fill the building. Like it's actually on Sunday mornings, we use every crevice, every corner of that building. And I remember when we first, we first moved in there, we only used one room for children's ministry. And um, we didn't even have the cafe area. That didn't even exist. We didn't even use the balcony. Right. And now we have people actually sitting up there, which is kind <laughs> of amazing. Right. But I remember when we first looked at the building, um, we were standing out in front with the realtor, and Brenna was probably almost two years old and she looked up at Ryan and she said daddy daddy can I be the princess of this castle and we were like sold we're buying it <laughs> it was yeah. fun and and so every week now now we've we've kind of progressed in this journey and, and we've grown as a church and a faith community and, and really our heart and the vision of God's house is to make uncommon love common mm -hmm. That every week we, we show up and we look for ways to show grace, 
Uh, we look for ways to introduce people to God and, and begin that, that faith journey and, and grow in discipleship. And, and it's really interesting to see because we have people from all walks of life. It's multicultural. It's, you know, every denomination is, is present there. It's, it's really neat to see how God is meshing all these different backgrounds of people into you know this community of faith and 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 people are loving each other right and that and that's what's really really cool so people show up on sunday morning there's free coffee it's a relaxed atmosphere the music's rocking uh it's a lot of fun and we have we have a great time doing it but you always what i really love is not just the fun that we have but every week i feel the presence of god absolutely every week i know that god is there and he's with me and, uh, and we see people that are broken and hurting come in every week and, and begin that healing process. And then we see others that have kind of gone through the journey of healing that are now helping to heal others. Absolutely. And uh, so, you know, as, as you're thinking about God's house and uh, looking for a church maybe or, or maybe making God's house your home church, you know, I, I just want to encourage you that, you know, our best and most blessed days are ahead of us. Absolutely. I like to call us the land of the misfits. We're kind of a bunch of people that really don't fit in anywhere else. And so we just kind of gather together and we're just, uh, you know, from all different walks of life, all different backgrounds, and we just come together um, to experience the love of God. And so um, that's who we are, making lo- uncommon love common. And um, yeah, that's God's house. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to check out more about the church, you can look at uh, www.visitgodshouse.com. And uh, again, that's visitgodshouse.com. We'd love to have you come visit sometime, or maybe if you are here, uh, we're glad that you're here. So thank you so much for watching today.